I just want to preface this video with the perspective that I'm going to be offering you. I think this perspective could genuinely change your life. So, what do I mean when I say I am you and you are me? Well, I'm speaking in a very, I suppose, literal way in that we exist as two parts of a whole being. There is something out there that we are both a part of and we are just separate parts of that being. Now, I also want to say that this video is religious in nature, right? And I will be using the Christian Bible to basically give evidence of what I'm trying to say. And, you know, like if you aren't religious, that's okay. Like you're, you're still welcome here. And I still see you as a part of me. But just know, like, yeah, this video is religious. I still recommend sticking around if you aren't religious. Or if you aren't Christian. Or you aren't anything like that. If you just aren't interested in this, I would still say, like, stick around. So, in the Bible... In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 14 it says for he himself is our peace who has made us both one and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility here Paul tells us that through Christ we are both one through Christ we are unified into this one body into this one being. And it says here as well, uh, chapter 4, unity in the body of Christ. I'm looking for a verse that can really encapsulate what I'm trying to say. Chapter 4, verse 2. With all humility and gentleness, with patience bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace, there is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call. So, here it also says that we are one body and one Spirit. So I hope that the fellow Christians who are watching this video can see what I mean by we are united, we are one in the body of Christ. Now for those who are atheists, those who are not Christian, those who just aren't religious, this goes out to you too. You are also a part of us. You and me are still the same. We still belong to one whole being. Now, if you haven't accepted Christ into your life, that's... It, as much as I want to say it's not fine, it is fine. Like, it... Like, we still love you. And I still love you. Because you are a part of me. So, I want to try and put this into a way that you can use it practically in your life without being a Christian, without believing in Christ. Which you should do, by the way. Like, if anything I am about to say is, like, helpful in your life, just know that it is Christ's work, not mine. It is Christ's work that has allowed you to feel the wholeness that you will hopefully feel when I give you this advice. 
So don't give me any credit. Give God the credit. So, we need to go around life viewing everything and everyone as a part of us and loving them as such. We need to, when we are waiting in line, we need to realize that all the people in front of us, all the people behind us, we are them and they are us. We need to show that love to them. We need to see them as an extension of us, as a part of the whole understanding. Because if we do not live like this, we will feel separate. We will, we will feel alone. But it's hard to feel alone when you feel like everyone is you. Loneliness is a very destructive place to be in. And I know this from personal experience. And, you know, I like I was feeling lonely for quite a bit when I was like, you know, just getting started with this YouTube channel back in, back in January now. I have felt very lonely from then onward. And even like a bit beforehand too. But I feel more whole when I view life with the perspective that I have gained of this unity, of this fact that we are all a part of one. You're separate pieces that exist in the same body. So we need to treat others with this mindset. We need to treat others with that love which we give to ourselves. And we need to love them as if they were a part of us because they are. Everything is a part of you. And you are a part of everything. So love everything as such. Love everything as an extension of your own mind and body. And seek that wholeness, that feeling of being whole with everything. And you will experience a a peace and a sense of love that you know has been missing from your life. You know exactly what feeling I'm talking about. You know exactly what hole in your heart that I'm talking about. And the answer is this unity with others and the world around us. This extending yourself beyond who you are and realizing that everything is just as much a part of you as you are a part of it. That's all I have to say today. Keep running when no one else says.